The clinch knot is without question the most commonly used knot by anglers of all types worldwide. It's largely used for attaching leader or tippet material to the eye of a hook, lure, or fly. It's fairly easy and quick to tie, but it's critical that the knot be well lubricated and properly seated for it to retain maximum breaking strength. There are a myriad of ways to tie a clinch knot, and it's important to try different methods to find the one that works best for you and the materials that you're using. Whatever method you choose, practice is required so you can tie the knot quickly and correctly, and ideally with your eyes closed. To tie a clinch knot, insert the end of the line through the eye of the hook. The shorter end that passes through the eye is called the tag end, while the end that goes back to the reel is called the standing line. Bring the tag end underneath the standing line and pinch the intersection of the two between the thumb and index finger of your left hand. Get hold of the tag end and begin wrapping it in an open spiral around the standing line. Anywhere from five to seven turns usually works best. Thread the tag end through the hole held open by the thumb and index finger of your left hand, then pinch the tag between those fingers. To begin seating the knot, don't pull on the tag end. Instead, gently pull on the standing line so the knot begins to collapse on itself, like so. At this point, it's critical to lubricate the knot with saliva, water, or if you have it, lip balm. A small amount is all that's needed. You can then get a good grip on the standing line and seat the knot firmly. With the knot firmly seated, snip or cut the tag end off fairly close. Do leave a little bit of tag standing proud from the knot in case of slippage. One of the methods many anglers use when tying a clinch knot is to start the knot as in the previous example but rather than using just the thumb and index finger of your right hand to twist the tag around the standing line, pass the tag to the middle and ring finger of your left hand and bring it around so you can easily grab it with the thumb and index finger of your right. The knot is then completed, lubricated, and seated in the same way as before. There are two important variations on the clinch knot. The first is the improved clinch where everything is the same up to the point just prior to seating the knot. Rather than simply leaving the tag end down by the hook eye, bring it around and pass it through the loop formed after wrapping, like so. Then, lubricate and seat the knot. In theory, the improved clinch knot is stronger than a regular clinch knot, but many anglers find the extra tying effort not really worth it in the end. A second variation, called the trilene knot, is often used with larger hooks and heavier lines. Rather than passing the tag end of the line through the hook eye once, bring it around and pass it through a second time to create a small loop. Then, wrap the clinch knot as usual and pass the tag end through the two loops before seating it. Having two strands of line around the eye of the hook produces a stronger connection that's needed in certain fishing situations.